nice is that? Absolutely lovely, little dwarf coconut. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Lot safer, lot nicer. Morning. I'm back on the vegetable patch. So, no, the land don't belong to me. No, I haven't had permission of the owner to put a few sweet potatoes in here or that squash. So, no, I haven't had permission, but it's a well known fact that the people around the Brongai, the actual owner, does let them grow vegetables <clears throat> at the side of the road and into the field. And if this road ever does get widened, which it don't matter to me, if it gets widened, then if it's that wide, then this will be the side of the road, where that spade is, where someone's digging. So this will be the side of the road, and I'm sure people will be able to still grow vegetables. It's a poor, com it's a poor community here, and like I said, the landowner, as far as I know, he lets people, he lets people grow here. He lets people grow vegetables. So, no, I ain't had permission before you ask. So if you make a comment, that's what the people here do. That's what I'm doing. No, I haven't had any permission. I'll repeat it. But like I said, the landowner does actually let the people use the you know, lets them use the land and I'm sure actually I could go to the landowner and if I have an idea I'm sure I could rent that land or I could rent a little bit of it but like I said, it's a poor, poor community here so, me included, poor right yeah, so I'm going to pull this out of here actually I've got a lot of cuttings in the end well, not so many a lot so what I'm doing this morning I'm bracing that fence, neighbour's fence, so that neighbour's fence has actually fallen, fallen down and it's leaning on this, and I want to use this, well I don't want to use this, Jovely wants to use this, so I actually left it there to prop, to prop the fence up, you can see it's all rotten, it's all dropping to bits, do I, do I need to go and ask neighbour if I can prop his fence up, no I don't, this is our property actually and neighbours, neighbours are quite nice so we've got quite nice neighbours at this side and nice neighbours at this side so everyone's quite good here you know really nice people, nice community so that's, the, so that's what I'm going to do actually I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to prop this up and prop fence up and make sure that fence stops up to stop dogs going onto the neighbour's side and coming onto this side. And like I said, that land don't belong to me, but I'm still going to grow vegetables. If somebody comes and pulls it down, you know, come and pull it down. You know, if you haven't got respect or decency to come and say, you know, we've got this land and we're doing this with this land, can you please take this down? Yeah, I'll take it down. Thank you very much. Simple as that. So, like I said, you know, all them bananas down there, that belongs to people that live here in the Barangay. Did they have permission to grow them? As far as I know, I don't know. I ain't got a clue. You know, you're talking about a uh, baron. Who owns this land is a very, very, as far as I know, he's a sugar baron and his son's a celebrity and they're quite nice guys and they do actually let people grow, you know. And like I said, it's it's making environment nice for wildlife. That's absolutely lovely. So I'm not going to happen about it. So that's it. That's what I'm doing today. I might have a quick look at some of these flowers. <laughs> Looks like a lot of them, are, you know, they've got a little bit of flowering to do, maybe a week or so. And we'll take them out. So that's what we're going to do. So that's what I'm doing this morning. Like I said, I've got a few jobs there. I'll, I'll show you what's happening actually and I'll chat about it later. But I'm going to pull this out because Jovelyn wants it. And I'm just going to brace, you know, old neighbour's fence up. I don't want neighbour's fence falling down because he's got kids. 
and like I said I don't want dogs going into his garden or into mine so that's what I'll do I'll pull that out now guys hey, look I pull it out I leave it to Jovelin actually builder used it to obviously do his building work and as you know we ain't got budget to finish it yet so that's what I'm gonna do now look like I said I'm going to actually push this fence up so it don't fall, so that's what I'll do. Like I said, it's not my fence, but I'll, I'll lift it up and put it nice and tidy. So that's it, guys. And then I might, if it don't rain today, I might water them vegetables. So that's about it. Lovely day. And like I said, I'll tell you what Jovelin's doing later. It propped it up. Actually, I'm actually going to actually chat about this vegetable part, so I've propped it up, you know, it's all rotten as you can see, you know, see it's all rotten, dropping to bits, so I just leave it, and it'll drop to bits naturally, but what I wanted to chat about as well, these, this little vegetable plot here, now, I used to farm, I farmed in UK, worked for a farmer, in the UK, right? So I've actually worked for a farmer in the UK, so I do know a little bit about farming. And like I said, I propped his fence up there. So it's his fence what's walking down there. Uh, I don't want it falling on my part. So what I thought was, was what I thought was, it's a, it's a poor community here, right? So this field here, now to sugarcane this field here, it's a little field. There's no way you can make money on growing sugarcane in this field. My opinion, there's no way you can make money through growing sugarcane on this field. Why can't you grow sugarcane on this field and make money? Because it's too small. Now if you look out there, there's miles and miles and miles and miles of sugarcane. And these are sugar barons, these are guys what's got big money, born into the land. It's their land, they've got vast land, so they can afford, right, they can afford for a crew to come in, into that sugar cane, fertilise it, weed it, go through it with carabao, you know, through farrows. Basically, make this soil nice and soft, so water can get down to plants. So that's what they do. You know, it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of hard work. Then they come to crop that, you need lorries, and then you need a crew, right, to come and put that sugar cane on back at lorry. So there's a lot of money in cropping, harvesting that sugar cane. It's a big operation. So this little bit of land here, right, there's no way you could plant sugar cane on this little bit of land and make money. So my idea, just a minute, somebody's at the back of me. Kids in a block. <laughs> you no, know, you never know. I don't like I do not like people at the back of me. Uh, simple as that. So, right. My idea, well, dogs have set off. They'll have to stop barking. So my idea is what to do with this sugar cane. This bit what happened was a lady came here, right? She came here. I said, oh, I won't bother, I won't bother planting at side at road, we've got, we've got this on a tender, we're renting this land, we're going to grow sugar cane on it. And I thought, how can you make money growing sugar cane on it? I'm all for helping and I'm all for people in this community, you know, whatever you might think. Don't think you know who I am or you know me. I'm all for people, you know, making a little bit of money and if I can help, I'll help, right? Simple as that. So I thought, they're not going to make no money with sugar cane, you know, sugar cane in this field here. So what I thought was, why don't these in this barangay here rent this field, right, off the landowner, go and see the landowner or the guy that deals with the land and say, can we grow vegetables? If you came into this field, and you grow vegetables, you would be able to sell them in Mercy Market, in Backcollard City, I'm sure you would. And you'd have an income and you'd have money. So you wouldn't need to put any money at all into this land. Because I know for a fact you ain't got a lot of money. And I know for a fact 
you know, I know it's a poor community. There is a lot of rich people here, guys, don't get me wrong. A lot of rich people, what have got money and that what can make things happen. But my point is, if you're a poor person, you ain't got no money, no capital, you can actually see the landowner and grow vegetables, right? When you grow your vegetables, you start to sell your vegetables. Ask the landowner, right, can we pay, can we now pay you a little bit of money for renting this little bit, for renting this nice big lump of land? And that helps you. So, I don't know, I don't understand why you don't farm it. But then, I actually do know why you don't farm it. So, please make a comment. But I do know why you don't farm it. And I'll tell you why a lot of people won't do. Let me turn this camera around. I'll tell you why a lot of people won't do that. Because it's hard work. So it's hard work. And that's why they won't do it. But it's not that hard once you get started. So that's my little, you know... You've got no money, like me, I'm thinking of ideas. And I'll chat about ideas later. Thumbs up, take care, God bless. Right, so I've pulled I've pulled that out. Jovelyn's going to get set on it in a moment. Well, when she's ready. And I'll chat about something now. So, you can see that fence were already falling down. It's propped up. And that's, up, that's there. So I'll chat about something in a moment. Right guys, like I said, you know my fi finance, I suppose if I needed some money, I could get some money, you know, I wouldn't have to go here and lend money, right, but if you've got no finance at all, you want to start a little business, what, what do you do? Well, actually what you can do here is you go to a money lender, it's all legal, it's all legal, you go to a, a place where it's all legal and you lend money. Like everyone in England, you know, you lend money for a car, a house, whatever, a mortgage. It works a bit different here. But, because we ain't got no money, we've got no income. And I'm not joking, we're living on about 150 pesos every four or five days. So, it can be hard, but you know, if you're, if you're a type of person like me, which I'm a very hard person, you know, I can weather it. It's not much fun, believe me, but I can weather it. You know, I can do it. If I have to, I can sleep. I can sleep in that field, but it's not much fun. You know, you've got me drift. I know a lot of you can do it, and a lot of you couldn't do it. Because it is hard. Right, so that's what they do. They lend money. And they start a little business. A little sorry, sorry store. And a little sorry, sorry store here keeps people going. So, you know, I'll chat about that in a moment. Right guys, I've got my gimbal. I'm forgetting what I'm saying here. Hello there, right. So you know my take on that land, go and see the landowner, ask permission. If you ain't got any money, I'm sure I'm sure landowners will help because I because I know they're quite nice guys, you know. So I'm sure landowners would help. And like I said, right, finance. So you're here in the Philippines. You know, you're born here and you're poor, you've got no money. So what you do, or one of the things you can do, is you can actually, for some reason, right, just a moment. Right, guys, I've sorted it, my phone keeps turning on and off. Right, so option, you go to a, 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 you go to a money lender, you lend 5,000 pesos. Right, so what happened is, Jovelyn yesterday, right, she went to a money lender. I'll chat about something else as well, money. So she went to a money lender, she lent 5,000 pesos, right, to start a sorry, sorry store. So that's what she's doing now, she's starting a sorry, sorry store. Now, at 5,000 pesos, when she told me she was lending, I weren't right happy. And I thought, well, why do you need to lend money? But we've not me, she's got where she's got and she has to lend money and it's a start and the money will get paid back with interest, right? So now you've got your 5,000 pesos, you can start a little business, 
right? Don't go to Jelly Bees, you know, don't get your 5,000 pesos. Don't take your boyfriend or your girlfriend to Jelly Bees. You know, don't go and buy new clothes, new shoes, because you'll end up with a 1,000 pesos and your business has just gone thump. So, with your 5,000 pesos, you've got your little business. So that's what Jovelyn is actually doing now. She's opening a sorry, sorry store, and that's what she's doing. So that's what she's doing, look. That's her sorry, sorry store, and she's borrowed 5,000 pesos. But let me just say, there's no 5,000 pesos in this house. And anyone that comes through this window at night, you won't get back out. Simple as that. So, you know, 5,000 pesos here, guys, it'll get you killed. And I'm, I'm not joking easily. So, there is no money in that house, I can assure you. And believe me, I don't sleep at night. I sleep mostly in the daytime. So, right. So, don't go telling people you're getting a loan. Don't go telling people you've got 5,000 pesos in the house or 10,000 pesos. Keep it very quiet. But when you go to a money lender here, people in your barangay will be the same as you, you know. They're trying to make a living. So what they'll do is they'll be doing the same as you. And then the, it's a case of, ah, well, you know, you have a foreign boyfriend. Why are you lending money? Well, why she's lending money, guys? Is because the foreign boyfriend has spent his small fortune and he actually doesn't have any money left. So, we are just like you are, we're poor, right? But, that's what Jovelyn's doing now, she's building a sorry sorry store. So, you know, hopefully she'll make a little bit of money. It's, it's hard, you know, because, you know guys, you make a little bit of money, and I'm talking pesos, and what you have to do is build it up, but you also have to live off it. So it's very, very hard, right? So that's why Jovelina's has actually lent money against me, say, against a big argument saying, why have you lent money, you know? But it's up to her, and to be honest, you actually do need to lend money. Now, I won't, I won't advise people here in the Philippines to year after year after year lending money, lending money, never, 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 never gets paid. You're lending money, you know, you pay it off and then you're lending money. You need to stop doing that because you'll just never have any money and you'll always be poor, right? So if you've got a little bit of money, guys, you need to make it swing. You know, you need to start your little business. Pay your 5,000 debt off, right? Now you've got your 5,000 in a little business. And then live off the profit or live off out of the profit. Save a little, save a little, save a little. Yeah, I know. I know it's hard. I know it's very hard. But that's, that's what you have to do in life. It's just what you have to do in life to get on in life. It's the, it's the only way a poor person poor man or poor woman can actually make money so it's as simple as that so that's why I was thinking you know I mean I'm not interested in putting vegetables I'm just not interested in putting vegetables on that field right and making money doing that because I've got other things to do I'm a YouTuber I love to do YouTube and I'll always do YouTube and it'll pay off so it will pay off soon but you know don't forget you know when you're doing youtube videos you us youtubers we have to work morning we have to work very 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 hard so we work very hard looks like they're selling fish see little business selling fish hard work you know they've got kids with them it's hard work you, you're poor you know you're poor you're, this is where you are you're poor so like I said, hopefully I'll make a little bit, bit of money off YouTube and that's how that goes. But you've got me drift. So that's it. You know, I don't know what's happening to this land. Don't, don't matter to me what happens to this land. I don't care. You know, I don't care if you leave it, you rent it. I don't give it. I don't care. I don't need it. You know, I mean, here, I could have a little business here. 
I've got ideas here with this little bit patch here. I could make this, I could have a little business here. You know, what business? I've got some ideas. So, that is actually, you know, the rich foreigner here. He's not so rich. But, you know, what you, what you don't understand, you guys here in Philippines, you know, people in England, people in America, you know, I'm surmising, you know, we have bills, guys, and it's really expensive living in England, UK, England. It's an expensive country. Yeah, I could actually go back to England and I could get a job and I could work in England and, and I could easily send quite a little bit of money here. It won't go to this house, there'd be no money in this house. It'd go to a bank, right? So it'd go into a bank, straight into a bank. You know, I wouldn't be sending money here, you know, to my girlfriend. Because I just won't, because people would find out. Try to go into a bank where it's safe. Right, simple as that. So that's it. I can hear a chick in there. Now, she, I don't know if she's calling her chicks or something's happened to her chicks. Because she's chalping on a little bit. She's probably looking for something I don't know. Right, so that's that's what we're doing. So that's what Jovelin's actually done. She's actually, I'll show you the sorry, sorry store when it's open. Yeah, it's paying up money. It's paying up money. It's a little, little money. But people here in the Philippines depend on that little, little money. You know, so it's as simple as that, guys. I don't know why it's really dark here. So it's as simple as that, guys. A little money helps. And it's as simple as that. But, like I said... I, I won't be here in about three years time, whether I've gone back to England or not, I don't know. But, like I said, I'll probably just buy, come back here into the Philippines, and I'll probably just buy a big, big lump of land. And I, it'll probably be bought before I even get here, you know, and it'll go through a bank where it's safe, and it'll go through solicitors, you know, or she's going to get some really bad horror stories. Honey trap, right! I'm not sure if I'm going to chat about that actually, but I'll probably chat a little about it. So, I keep, yeah, I keep on about it, but like I said, make a comment. So, it's up to you whether your comment's good or bad, you know, then it's down to me to go bump. Or I'll just leave it there for a while, but it's no big deal. So that's it. That's it guys, it's a sorry, sorry store. And every little bit of money helps so that's why Jovelina has actually lent 5,000 pesos the 5,000 pesos now is being spent and it's being spent on a little stock you know a little bit of food a little bit of that so money's spent so there's no money in this house I wish there was uh, I put 100 pesos went to petrol station yesterday Jovelina gave me 100 pesos 100 pesos of petrol in bike which I'm happy to have and actually looking at chain and sprockets I've had it so I'm not happy about bike anyway so that's it guys I'll show you the sorry sorry store when it's actually being built but like I said you know you can actually help support the channel it's up to you every little helps there's a link there's a link in the bio you know, if you can help, help. Uh, every little pace or, or, a, or a book, a couple of books, it helps, big style. So, that's what I've done actually now, guys. And I will actually repeat it, you know. The vegetable patch, I've got, I have actually, uh, like I said, I'm actually going to do some work on it. So I'm actually going to do some work on it. And if somebody comes, pulls it down, it's no big deal. You know, they pull it down, it's no big deal. So, that's that. I'm, I, I ain't actually got much time with that vegetable patch. I just did it because, you know, Jovelin wanted to put some vegetables in. And like I said, when you're living on a bit of rice and an egg a day, it's not a lot of, it's not a lot of food, is it? So, you know, simple as that really. So, I've got some little ideas, but I ain't got money to back it up. But, like I said, hopefully soon, 
please subscribe, please share the videos, please help support. Right guys, take care, God bless. So that's what we're doing this morning actually. It's just a little chat. So that's what we're doing. But like I said, so the lady what actually did come and and she did say, don't don't waste your time doing this, don't waste your time doing that. Don't listen to that type of person. You know, unless there's a piece of paper, you know, showing they've got permission, or you know for a fact they've got permission to use that land, grow that land, and then they're coming and telling you not to put a few vegetables in it, and they're telling people around you not to put a few vegetables in it. Don't listen to that type of person. Don't listen to negative comments, you know. Because there's people that actually, you know, they'll listen, they'll listen to your story, and then they'll just come out... They'll cut all start half of that story, and then they'll just come out with all these bad comments, right? You need to be away from that type of a person. What's getting bad comments, bad vibes? You need to be around people what are actually positive. Morning, morning. So you need to be around. Morning. I get you these. Right. So it looks like wife and husband got two little kids here, look they've been and got a little bit of wood. That's what they might be doing actually guys, they might be actually, you know, making a vegetable patch. Like I said, poor community, you know, it's a poor community. So what do I expect, what do, what do I actually expect when people just come and pull this down and say don't do this, don't do that, what well, I ain't got no authority anyway. I do expect people to respect, you know, simple as that. If you don't respect me, I won't respect you, simple as that. Right, looks like hot dogs are laid on the road, and it's the sun's coming out, so I'll actually get you over in a little land with this sorry, sorry star. So that's it, guys. Like I said, keep away from negative people. Don't tell people your dreams. You know, because they'll try and put you down. Negative people will put you down. Uh, as simple as that. You know, it's really hard to find a really good friend. It's hard to find some good friends. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of nice people around. But it's hard to find good, genuine people. Like I said, a lot of, I've met a lot of nice people. Simple as that, really. In UK, a lot of nice people. A lot of bad ones <laughs> as well. But simple as that really, keep away, my, my little advice, keep away from negative people. And be positive, take care, God bless. Right, let me show you it, dog. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you can hear him. It's there, look. Good morning, Tom. It's called Tom. I think he's got a skin rash. And he's trying to get rid of mites. Probably rolling in dust trying to get rid of mites. So, that's him. It's an hard life here in the province. Absolutely fabulous. There's an old dog now by the looks of him. But he's off. He's off for a walk. Don't really care. What are you two doing? I feed these about 10 o'clock. No, I don't know what time, but I feed them about 10 o'clock. Yeah, it's past nine. We're always up about five, six o'clock in the morning. Like I said, sometimes I don't go to bed well about five in the morning. I sit in there in dark and I like to watch. If, if anything's going off. <laughs> so, it's pipping at dogs. I think that guy there has got a, a nice farm. So there's a lot of hard working people here guys. And you know, a lot of hard working people. Like I said, there's a lot of hard working people here. But you know, an hard working person doesn't always become rich. You know, you can work hard and work hard and work hard. And you, you can never seem to get anywhere. And that's why I did actually tell you, or a little advice, is to try and budget. 
you know, it's okay if you're on 500 quid a week, you know, you can pay your bills, pay your house, pay you, and you've got say 300, you've got 200 quid a week left of it, then it's easy to save 100 quid, and then just spend 100 quid, but we're talking pesos, so like I said, there is a lot of hard working people here in this province, and there's a lot of lazy ones, don't think everyone in this province, you know, there's a lot of lazy ones, what don't want to work, you know, so it's not, everybody likes to work but i would say most of people in this province you know they do work hard and it's a different lifestyle they actually live how i used to live so in england how i used to live is i go to work once or twice sometimes three times a week and i'd make a hundred quid i'd make about five thousand pesos for a day couple of days work and then that were it. I'd just live off that money. I weren't on doll, I didn't sign on doll. So it was a struggle, but I lived off that money and I didn't go to work. Lot of reasons for it, you know, I just I just did what I wanted to do. I didn't want to go to work. I just worked twice a week or three times a week. And when I had a little bit of money, I lived off that money. And I'd, I had a lot of free time and it were a better lifestyle. And that's what Filipinos do. You know, they go out and they do a bit of work, they get 300 pesos, buy a bit of rice, a bit of chicken. You know, they might buy kids a few sweets, lollies, whatever. And then they have a little bit left over, and it is a tiny few pesos left over. That's exactly how I live for years and years and years. You know, but then I realised later on, like now, I realise now I actually do need to work and I actually do work on my YouTube and it's as simple as that, you know, and I was, I was thinking some of the comments I see, you know, so you, you'll get this, this is comments, some of the comments I've seen and it's on other guys' channels and some of the channels it's, you know, how much money are you making? You know, so a lot of a lot of these people are again. How much money are you making? It's not. You know, you ne you never get anybody going on to anybody's channel. I've never I've never seen it. It's always a bad comment. How much money are you making? Then it's blah blah blah. They never say. Well, how long did it take? You know, it takes you two years to get monetized. You know, you build. You keep building up slowly, and it's really hard work. You know, it costs you a lot of money, a lot of time and effort. You know, you have your ups and then you can thump, you can have your downs. So, you never get people saying that, you know. Well, you've worked out, you do get, I've had one or two people actually. Like I said, I've got some really good subscribers and I've had one or two. But like I said, I have got some really nice subscribers and they do, they do say, you know, I hope soon you get the subscribers you deserve. Thanks a lot, guys. So I have got some nice subscribers, but you've got my point. You've got always got people saying, "Okay, I'm monetized and I'm making a little bit of money, or I'm making really good money," you know. And then people are going to say, "How much money are you making?" And you, you, you might it actually, my, my, I would say to that, mind your own business, not your business. You know, did you ever come into me and say, you're struggling, you know, you're struggling every day and you've got a little money. Now, forget all this work, you know, I should have done this, I should have done that. That's just baloney. There's no, I should have done this. You didn't do it. Move on, right? Move on. You didn't do it. Move on. Learn from it. Life's to live. It's not to work. So that's why I chose that lifestyle of working once or twice a week. But I do work hard. Like I said, I could go out into that field, right, with my hands, and I can pull that grass up. I don't need a tractor. I can I could farm that I could farm that land on my own. Right, so that's me hard working. And I know there's a lot of guys what are hard, very, very hard working, but you get a little reward. But I think if you keep on, guys, keep on and you keep working, the rewards will come. So that's what, that's one of the negative comments you get. You get, like I said, I've got good subscribers who do give me a little bit of support. 
you know, I've got some one or two really nice friends on Facebook. And like I said, if you need any advice, guys, right, if you come into the Philippines or you just need advice anyway, ladies or gentlemen, go to WhatsApp. Now, adding you on Facebook, I've got too many people on Facebook and I'm not using Facebook like I used to. So on Facebook, guys, Facebook's tell me you've got too many, you've got too many, I don't know, subscribers, whatever they call it. So I should have 5,000, but I've got 5,800. So I'm eight over on my friends. So I've, I've added too many friends. There's a way, there's a way to do it and I did it. And I've added too many friends. So if you send me a friend request on Facebook, it's quite possible I won't see a friend request. And it's very hard. I can't really add you as a friend. But if you actually go to WhatsApp, you can chat me on WhatsApp if you've got something to ask me. Ask me on WhatsApp if it's a little bit private, you're coming to the Philippines, or you've got a problem. If I can help, chat me on WhatsApp. I'll, if I get a comment, I'll put my number up so you can get my WhatsApp number and chat to me. So simple as that. So, being poor, it can be a good life being poor, yeah. Because if you've got a good attitude, you know, and you live in a nice place like this, it can actually be, you know, it, it can be really nice if your attitude's a good attitude. But that's another topic because I'm actually thinking... What I was thinking is, a lot of guys that are born into this, they're born into this. Now, we got on about that hard work a minute ago, didn't we? They don't want to put hard work in. They don't want this. They don't want to work in country. They don't want to work for little money. But there's actually big money to be made. But they don't want to work hard at it. So they go to... Manila, back and they get a job in SM, or they get, you know, they just, they just don't want to do this. But, you know, it's your choice, and if that's, if you want to go and work in SM, good luck, guys, you know. I mean, I'm sure that's got, standing there all day, walking about, you know, I'm sure that's really hard work too, but it's your choice if you don't want to come, if you're born into this and you don't want to farm this, I suppose... You know, you could actually go and work abroad. So, there's just a lot of options. And then, like I said, come back, a rich lady or gent. Right, guys, I think I need a cup of coffee. I can see some beautiful butterflies flying around. Take care, God bless. I'll try and upload this video soon. What day are we on? Are we on Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, we're on Wednesday. I mean, it's quite possible I could upload this video today. But it's like a 12 mile, 12 mile there and back to get the, to upload the video or to download this video, download, upload onto YouTube. And then, you know, I have to edit it. So there's quite a lot of work. So I don't know if I get it done today. And like I said, that's what's really doing me in actually, you know, not being able to have an internet connection. But it's like this. You just have to work at things, right? That's it. I think that's my video for today. I'll get you progress on this uh, Sorry Sorry store. So any of you guys can actually go out and you can do this. And I know for a fact a lot of guys do do this. Then there's, not, there's no money in this, guys, right? But what is actually in this is a tiny bit of money. And that helps people to feed the kids, feed the dogs... You know, so it's simple as that, really. Right, take care, God bless. Right, I'm feeding the dogs, the no look. Yeah, sometimes I actually do put the dogs before myself. So that's what they get, look. I put a bit more in there, because she's a big, she's a bigger. So I put a scoop, so I do put a scoop of that in there. So that's what she get, that's what they get. So that's what they get, twice a day, used to be three times a day, but now it's gone down to twice a day, a little bit of rice, a little bit of rice, so she'll start jumping about like a kangaroo in a minute when I go out, so I feed the dogs, it's about five to ten, so that's what I'm going to do, feed the dogs.
Absolutely beautiful.